hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so in this video we are going to see how we can create a generic method or you can say a reusable method or, or can you can say like custom methods right or code to click on a button right so first of all why we need it okay so if you are going to create a framework or if you are going to work on a framework you you have to deal with uh, or you have to create some generic methods so that you can reuse those methods again and again okay so let me give you an example let's suppose you have a website okay and in this website you have multiple buttons like create my button or create my account sorry and then check availability so as of now i can see only two buttons right so let, let's say you have two buttons here and there could be chance that you will be dealing with 10 buttons or 20 buttons right so if i go by a code right how to cl click on a button right or what would be my code like driver dot find element by dot xpath i'm just giving an example of xpath let's say okay and then you use click method right so if you have 10 buttons you will be ending up writing the same code 10 times right and this is not the way we generally create or we generally use these functions right or we generally code in our uh, um, real term projects right or in, in our real projects right so in, instead of rewriting the code right ideally what we should do we should create some generic methods or the components or reusable methods so in most of the frameworks if you have seen you must be seeing uh, one base class kind of thing or one keyword class kind of thing or one generic class or helper class kind of thing right so people or, or the or the person who is working on the frameworks they generally create these kind of classes to create these kind of methods right the methods which can be reusable again and again right so let's let's continue with this web browser okay or this website and i'll show you let's say this is my first button let me copy the x part of this okay so this is the x part for this one and uh, we quickly copy this one as well okay so you have the expert for both the buttons right okay now if you run this program it will run fine there will be no issues right so after clicking the first one we are getting this message checking availability and after clicking on the second button you will get this alert message okay so <clears throat> we are able to click on both the buttons right but the only problem we see here is the repetition of code and I mean as per the coding standards right we should not be reusing or we should not be repeating our lines of code right ideally if there is any repetition we should create some generic methods or reusable components which we can reuse again and again so here I'll be creating one generic methods or reusable method to click on a button okay so to create let's say I will name it as click button okay so let's say public static void and name it as click button sorry okay and i'll copy this code the first the last second one okay and what i will do instead of writing this one i'll, I'll just copy this one okay as of now it is not generic if you see why it is not generic because we have hard coded the value in it okay so let's try to run this first and see if it is working fine or not we are able to call this click function or not okay so it is working as expected we are able to call both the functions right it's fine but the issue here is it is not generic till now because again in this function this xpath is hard coded now to make it reusable what we can do whatever values you are passing right try to put them in a parameter okay let's say string x bar okay so whosoever will be calling i mean let's suppose i if i have to call this function right so now i have to give one parameter to it this function a string type of parameter 
okay so instead of putting like this i'll put it here okay so now this method is generic method right because we have not hard coded a single thing what we are saying when somebody has i mean when we have to, when we wanted to call this click function right we need to pass some xpath okay now the xpath to click on a button right so what we can do we can directly go here copy the xpath and then we have to put it here that's it now run this program and it will behave in the same way right see again it's clicked on the first button it's got the message it click on the second button and we got the pop-up that alert box right so we are able to create a custom method now how you can reuse it so instead of writing this code this entire line of code now what you can do you can simply write this that's it and you're good to go so you are reusing the same method again and again right okay so this is how you can create a reusable function to click a button right again you make you can make few changes to handle the exceptions like you can use try catch you can use uh, screen recorder you can use uh, take screenshot methods in it right it, it's up to you right but how to create a generic methods this is how you should proceed you should see first of all what are the things you can parameterize make it a parameter of that and then you can use it in the next video i'll be talking about how we can create a generic method for drop down that will give you a clear picture okay so thank you thanks for watching this video